Hello and welcome to Bay Area Focus. I'm your host, Michelle Griego. We have lots going on this morning, films, theater, books, even a model coach. But first, San Francisco Beer Week is wrapping up with one final event today. It's Drake's Chillin' and Grillin' Family Affair. And here to tell us all about it is Drake's brewmaster, John Galuli, and he is going to show us some very cool beer pairings. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Okay, I love it that you brought beer and food. It's pretty awesome. Usually we talk about wine pairings with food, but you have food pairings with beer. Yes, I do. We do pairing dinners every couple of months at our couple of our different tap rooms. And, you know, pairing food with beer is a really interesting thing compared to wine because the flavors you get out, there's a lot of flavors available to a brewer that winemakers don't have. Okay. You know, like what's a stout in wine country? What's, uh, <laughs> you know, so it's, it's an interesting thing for us to do. Okay, I love it. So go over some of the beer that you brought here because it's all looking very good. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we started you out with some tater tots here, which is sort of the... It's good beer food. Yeah, yeah, it's like a solid <laughs> beer food and we put a twist on it. It's got barbecue pulled pork on it and it's got cheese on it and it's a, you know, it's just something you can kind of eat while you're drinking beer. And I paired it up with our 1500 pale ale, which is a dry hopped pale ale. Really, really nice aromatic notes from the hops. It's got like pine and citrus and all that. So pretty intensely flavored beer all in all, but finish is kind of clean and dry. So, you know, the big flavors start off and pair up nicely with the big flavors in the meat there, but then it cleans it all up with a dry finish. Okay, I know you described that, but I yes, think we that should we drink need it. to try it. Yes, here you go. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. I love a good beer. Especially on a hot day. Mm. It's great, right? Now, this is good. Thank you. Okay. Well, yeah, it. Starts, starts a little big and then cleans itself up towards the end. So mm -hmm. perfect pairing with this food. Really nice. good with a lot of different foods. I could probably have paired this beer with all three of these, but, you know, then it wouldn't be as exciting. Cause... Right. And here are the wonderful tater tots. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Bonk. Okay. So then next up with some pizza. Yes. Yeah, so we, in our, at our tasting room in downtown Oakland, we primarily focus on New Haven style pizza. And we definitely put some twists on those. This is our Lori, which is a vegetarian pizza with figs, green olives, and goat cheese on it. Now that so, sounds very Bay Area. Yes, exactly. Okay. It's it's um, it's fancy, um, <laughs> but you know, I, I really wanted to challenge myself because there's a lot going on in that pizza. Especially the sweetness of the figs was really like I was like, okay, okay, sweetness of the figs. What am I going <laughs> to pair with? And I brought this big double IPA called Hopocalypse, which has some sweetness of its own because it's a big beer. Um, tons of hops in there, and the hops, when we did tasting panel on it, people were like, oh, they've got this like guava tropical note. I was like, ooh, I can see guava and figs going together. Mm. But then it's a real big beer, it's got some bitterness, it's got some alcohol, and it'll like just kind of cut through all the cheese and clean it right up. Okay, and it'll be good, it'll be good. But we're just gonna drink the beer again. So what is New Haven style pizza? It's um, not something I really know very much about. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> I'm well, the beer I'm... guy, not the food. Well, um, no, but it's ha true. it has like a nice char to it. They come in these oblong shapes. I think, honestly, like a lot of them are clam pizzas back there in New Haven. We okay. don't, yeah. Yeah. We, so. Well, it looks delish. And cheers again. Cheers. You know, it's always a good day at work when you have. Uh, well, I know. We can be, be cheers and beer. Uh -huh. Pinky up. Pinky up. Okay, yes. That's really good, but it's very different from the first. Right, right. And the hops play very differently, but that sweetness in the back, I think, yeah. just will go great with the figs there. And also just. Fun to drink the beer. I know. That's <laughs> it's a beer week, true. man. That's very true. Okay, so this one I think is speaking my language. This looks a little lighter. Yes. This is our Flyway Pilsner. Um, very light, dry Pilsner. It has, I, I consider it to be almost like an aperitif when it comes to like drinking because it's, it's very crisp. And I paired it with a, with a tri-tip here, which we will be, which will be the special feature at the Grillin' and Chillin' on, and in what, like an hour or two, I yeah, guess, yeah. right? So our owner, Roy Kerkorian, will be there slinging the Santa Maria-style tri-tips. And normally when I go to pair with meat, I, I pull a porter out because, you know, the it's got that nice, dark, roasty flavor and it goes with the char on the outside. But I was like, no, you know, Roy puts this rub on there that's like thyme and rosemary. And I feel like it went with this. This has like some herbal notes from its hops in it, too. And, and plus it's Pilsner. It will just clean up really, really well after every bite. It'll just refresh you and reset your palate after every taste. Oh, I love it. Okay, grilling and chilling. Uh, hand one of those to me. Yep. Because, you know, we have to taste this because you're talking about indeed, it. I wish indeed. everyone at home could have some of this, but you can go Bunk. out and get it. Right? You sure can. They're all 
lots of places. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is great. So grilling and chilling, a family affair. How did you come up with that thing? You know, it's the last day of beer week and pretty much we're all dead inside by the end of beer week. <laughs> um, it's a lot of work. It's, it's a lot of, we do a lot of beer events. And so this is just our kickback, sit down, ownership, you know, treats us to some nice food. And it's not, it's like a not a beer event. It's a family, you know, it's a gorgeous, you know, especially a nice day. We sit out on the deck and just, you know, eat and drink the simplest beer we can get our hands on instead of some of the, I'm doing a lot of events with weird beers and double IPAs and triple IPAs. And sometimes you just want a regular beer. Right. And that's what you brought us today. Thank I you did. so much. Thanks My for pleasure. bringing us all of this. It's so sure. great. I'm just going to keep sipping this a little bit. All cool. right. So be sure to check out uh, John's website, Drake's or Drake's website. It's drinkdrakes.com. And remember, Drake's Grilling and Chilling a Family Affair. It's happening today, right after the show from 1130 a.m. until 9 p.m. at Drake's Barrel House in San Leandro, and that is located at 1933 Davis Street in San Leandro, so you definitely don't want to miss that. Coming up, a local entertainment industry success story inspires new talent right here in the Bay Area when we come back.